Harry's true color exposed. Morgan takes brutal swipe at Sussex for stealing royal family's thunder. Piers Morgan has taken to his recent column to blast his nemesis Meghan Markle and her husband Prince Harry. Morgan, 57, is known for voicing his opinion on Meghan Markle, 41, and the talk TV presenter was not letting her latest family picture go unscrutinized. The former Good Morning Britain presenter slated the Duchess of Sussex for trying to steal the royal family's thunder due to their photo release happening a mere 48 hours prior. Piers exclaimed, I'd have bet gargantuan amounts of dollars that within 48 hours of Buckingham Palace releasing a new official photograph of King Charles III, Queen Consort Camilla and the new Prince and Princess of Wales, up would pop the renegade royal grifters with an official photo of their own. He then compared Prince Harry to his brother and future king, Prince William, saying the latter is the symbol of understated royal power. Whereas he believes Meghan and Harry to be B-list wannabes pretending to have royal power so they can make money from it. Piers also regularly talks about the royal couple on his talk TV uncensored show. The presenter aired his concern last week for King Charles III in regards to his son and Suits actress wife. Piers was joined by author Katie Nicholl and royal writer Tom Bauer where they discussed whether there was any way back for Meghan and Harry. The segment came after it was reported that the Duke of Sussex was making edits to his memoir, which could be released in November. It basically boils down to one question, is there any way back for these two? The host asked. Piers soon turned his attention to Harry and Meghan's royal titles and whether they should be allowed to keep them. Charles is willing to give them their titles which are rightfully theirs, Katie weighed in. But it comes with a caveat and they have to prove they can be trusted. And as Tom said, we're going to have documentaries and everything in the autobiography. I think if they're going to keep trashing the royal family and the monarchy, they shouldn't have the titles, Piers argued. If you want to be a celebrity and make your money that way, fine, you can't do it without royal titles. Airing his concern for the monarch, Piers said, he just doesn't need the headache. He has so many other things he has to worry about. This comes as Piers' friend Sharon Osborne admitted that she injected herself with ketamine three times whilst in therapy due to her shock the talk exit. Over the years, Piers has criticized Meghan, repeatedly calling her fake, a ruthless social climber and accused her of using her marriage to get to the top. The media broadcaster has also described Prince Harry as hypocritical, accusing the Duke of playing the victim. It is long-running commentary that has seen Morgan accused of bullying, sexism, and racism. While the feud has remained one-sided with the Duke and Duchess staying tight-lipped on Morgan's takedowns, the pair have been vocal in their criticism of the media. Piers tweeted Harry and Meghan bullied the Queen into allowing them to leave the royal family. He wrote on social media, breaking, Harry slash Meghan have successfully bullied the Queen into letting them have their cake and eat it. Before the talks he branded Prince Harry a whiny, entitled parody of himself. Bullying Queen into a woke monarchy. He went on to call the couple two spoiled brats whose behavior towards the Queen is utterly outrageous, again attacking the ten-year veteran army captain Harry, calling him weak, whiny and miserable. When the pair announced their interview with Oprah, Piers' outrage only increased with Oprah. Pier